<laughs> in the last few months, my life has turned upside down since Dylan's mum was killed in a car crash. We've been spending a lot of time together organising the funeral, but now that's over, we're meant to be going our separate ways. Because even though he's left his girlfriend, Rianne, we aren't back together. Bye, Kenzie, love you. Come on, big boy. But it's all very confusing and I do get lonely. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I just keep having these up and down moods. I think like everything with Dylan's mum is finally hitting me and obviously it does get hard sometimes because I'm just like, obviously I've got the kids, but it's not the same, do you know what I mean? I just feel like I'm on my own. I'm starting to worry I'm going to be on my own forever. As usual, I'm facing another night in with Brooklyn. Hey, yo. Oh, baby. Why are you fed up? His eyes and bollocks. At the start, when we were speaking, he was, um, there was another girl involved. Oh, you've been played again. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said you didn't like him anyway, and I'm not I being know, funny. I know, but it's not that, Steve. It doesn't matter if I don't like him or not. It's just the fact that it always yeah. it happens to me. Like... Well, don't let it bother you. It's getting late. And I'm it's hard to be a single mum, right, and try and find a lad who will actually accept that you've got a child and you're a 19-year-old girl with a baby who lives Most on your own. Most guys well. won't accept that, yes, Stephen. Nobody, yes, nobody, nobody won't. Nobody won't. Right, well, that's something we have to disagree on then, OK? But I'm, I'm fed up this minute, right, and I don't need you on top of it, OK? I don't want you being upset, so I'm going to say he's probably not worth it, but you don't want to hear me saying he's not worth it because all you want to do is start having a go with me. You tell me how I wanted you, you, what you want me to say about this now to you, then. I just want you to be there for me. I know he wasn't brilliant. Maybe that's why I did have feelings for him. I don't need you telling me things. I just wanted to say, you know, Steve, right, you're the only person in my pissing life right this minute. I've got no friends what bother with me or anything, right? Don't cry. As much as we both think we're on our own and we both listen that, you know, we literally got what we need. So it's sad. It's been Nice to see Hello, you. Hello, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come and take a seat. I'll sit there. Thank you. This is nice and fancy. How are things going with Steve? It's so much better. Um, it's like, I think we've kind of like knocked our heads together now and decided, like, let's get on for our son's sake, you know, like... Thank the Lord. <laughs> no. What about you? Recently, I've been speaking to somebody. OK. Um, <laughs> and I just couldn't get feelings for him, but I did find him attractive, you get me? And I just felt like, because I can't like him, am I going to be, like, 60 years of age with, like, still thinking the same? And I said, Are you in a hurry? No, like, I'm not, but, like, I live on my own, so, like, I, I just sit... Brooklyn goes to bed, I'm, like, I'm just sat there then watching TV, like, twiddle my thumb. Like, I, I always say to myself, like, I wish my house was haunted so the ghosts could keep me company. Wow, it sounds pretty lonely. Loneliness is one of the most awful things as human beings that we ever have to suffer. And it's really hard. But don't let that push you into a relationship. You've got your guard up for really good reason. Take a few steps back and look at what you've managed to achieve. You actually have achieved amazing things and that little boy is absolutely gorgeous. And that's down to you. You've repaired a relationship with his father, which was really hard and I wasn't sure was going to be possible. You did that. You're a young single parent. By rights, you're supposed to be, I don't know, signing on or something. You're supposed to be miserable and depressed. We got the newspapers. <laughs> but you're not. You do not need a man to tell you that you're sexy, that you're funny, that you're ace. Act as if you really care about yourself. Yeah. Even if you don't feel it. And eventually, you'll start to feel it. Yeah. And that, my dear, will change the way you choose men. Yeah. I promise you that.